Hi, Sean here for XC247 at the release date that never was for Duke Nukem Forever. We're here at the Roxy Bar in South London playtesting the multiplayer mode. We're here with Alex, who has been playtesting the game for us. I'm good at it. You're good at it. <laughs> you're a bit too good at it for my liking. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about what you've been playing so far. Well, we've been playing two modes really. We've been playing Capture the Babe and Hail to the King. Okay, so Capture the uh, King of the Hill and a Capture the Flag mode. So, Capture the Flag being Capture the Babe? Yeah, sh um, there's this babe. You've got to run from your base to their base. It's a two flag game, not the one flag game. You go, you grab her, you sort of sling her over your shoulder, you're running back, they're trying to kill you, and then she'll shove a hand in your face, and then you have to smack her on the arse. I would say fantastic, but that would probably land me in hot water. <laughs> and of course, we've been playing the deathmatch mode as well, very standard for all kind of multiplayer games. How has that played for you? It's uh, good. I'm enjoying it. It does seem to be a race to who gets the best weapon, though, as opposed to there being much more skill involved. And we've seen plenty of weapons on display. What kind of weapons have we been looking at so far? Well, I've seen a laser, uh, which you shoot at people. I've seen uh, some sort of sniper rifle, but it's crossed with a railgun. Bit weird. There's, there seems to be the sort of rocket launcher that comes out of your fists, and if you get that, you've won. You've just won if you've got that game, you know, and we've got the pistol, your average pistol, you know. There's some great stuff like the shrink ray to shrink them down, the freeze one, freeze them, then you can run up and like kick them to kill them. It's good, it's a nice little varied game. Fantastic, and what about the environments and the maps, how do they work with the games? Well, they're very different. What we've seen so far is a Wild West orientated one. We've seen Duke Burger, which is like McDonald's, but Duke's own brand. But uh, we would have expected him to have some sort of steakhouse, as you said, yes. Sean, but you know, <laughs> burgers, that'll do. Uh, apart from that, we've seen a really futuristic sort of pipe level, what would you call it, factory, I'd say? Some kind of factory, sausage factory, I think, it's been called to us. <laughs> I'm not sure why. And uh, apart from that, we've had a big road. Fantastic. And, and what are your impressions of the game so far? Do you think this will take off as a multiplayer game for consoles? I, I can see it being a big hit for the first few months, and then I think they're going to have to pull out some big guns to pull it past that. Of course, we've seen you playing it on both a controller and a typical PC mouse and keyboard. Yes, yes. Um, which do you prefer and why? Mouse and keyboard all the way. I, I'm WASD for life. And I, I genuinely feel it just works better like that. But that's because I've been a PC gamer for Christ knows how many years. You know, I've seen a lot of people here using the control pad, but that's because they're more used to the control pad. It's definitely, it, there doesn't seem to be an advantage either way. It, you can just play with a control of your choice and you'll get on fine. But, you know, we've been really excited to play Duke Nukem Forever and uh, it's been good fun playing the game. Good, well, before we get over one, it's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. I'm Sean here at the Roxy for SG24-7. Goodbye. Bye -bye.